Hey guys, it's Jamie Christine here. So, I know it's been a while, and I wanted to get you guys up some shit that's been going on and everything. Excuse my language. Stuff that's been going on lately. Um, first things first, um, I know in my last videos I've been really distraught, really not focused on a lot of stuff. Um, but there was this one video that I wanted to get across and everything. Um... YouTube did put out some guidelines and everything, so it's to make it kid-friendly and everything, which I understand. At the same time, I really don't. You might notice that I got a haircut, so don't bother me. I just got done cleaning my room, which it's not fully finished yet, so give me a couple more days. Um, <laughs> other than that, it's been pretty hectic. With this coronavirus is going on, everything, and I live in Missouri, so it has taken a troll on me. I ha I work as a ticket enforcement as my daily job. This is just like a hobby thing, but also not at the same time. Um, my bangs don't want to focus right now. Um. I got laid off because of this, so now I'm going to be home more. So, y'all are going to be seeing my pretty face a lot. <laughs> um, it's It's been a rough couple of months, I have to say that. It, it has been a rough couple of months. Um, I don't know if I told you my last video, which I probably did. Um, like I said, my great-grandfather... Passed away back in December. Was very hard for me. He was there for a lot of things going on with my father. A lot of things that happened in my life. He was like the main father figure I had. He raised me. He cared for me. He helped me with my brother. He, he was there a lot. There's stories that I could go on about, but I... I will bore you to death with that. Um, then after losing Papa, I had to deal with the grieving, which I was having a hard time dealing with. I broke a lot of glass. I was throwing shit around my room, keeping it to the point where I just didn't want to be alive anymore because I lost the one person that I cared about the most. Um... Then, back in January, I lost my mom's biological father, my grandfather. He passed away at 6 a.m. January 31st. That's another grandfather I lost. Now, I don't have any more grandparents. I have my grandma, and that's it. My father's side of the family... His mother is still alive. I don't talk to her. I don't do anything. I barely talk to that side of the family. But I try to put myself out there. And they just turn me away. So I try to fix what I caused. And honestly, if you try to get back with a family who you're related to and everything hits the fan and then they just turn your back on them they turn their back on you and you try to talk to them and everything and it doesn't work don't don't push for it really don't i learned that the hard way so don't do it um his my father's father my grandfather um he passed away back in 2010 so i really didn't have i really didn't know him but it still hurt. It's a grandparent. Um, let me move ya. My, my ankles are hurting. But, it's been a really hectic month. Month. It's been pretty much a hectic couple of years. It really has. Um, I'm still grieving about Papa. I'm still grieving about everything. It's just 
been really hard to do so a lot. Uh, lately, I've been crocheting. I've been drawing a lot. This painting, this drawing right here, I did that back a couple of years ago. It's not the greatest, but like, it's still do. It's not the best, but I was still drawing it. I was learning to draw at the time. Um, it's Mar supposed to be Mary Monroe, but <laughs> I say it doesn't look like her, but who knows? People have different great disagreements, so who knows? Um, it's, it's been a busy, busy, busy year. It definitely has. So I just wanted to catch you guys up on some stuff, let you know how I'm doing. I'm still alive. Barely. But I'm still alive. Um, I, like I said, I've been laid off, so I've been quarantined to my own house. My, I'm actually, we're actually not under quarantine by, like, not leave the house and everything. It's just my whole state, my, well, my, not my whole state, my whole county, because I live in Jackson County. I'm not going to pinpoint where I live, because Jackson County is kind of a big-ish place. But Jackson County is, um, is definitely... On lockdown, as some other counties in Missouri. Um, right now, it's really nice. Surprise. But tomorrow's gonna be like cold and rainy and wet. But welcome to Missouri. You gotta love it. <laughs> Not. Um, just wanna let you guys know how I'm doing. I hope everyone's doing great. I hope that y'all didn't miss me too much. JK, A, hey, or I need a life. Like, seriously, I need a life. Um, just want to let you know, oh, I do want to give you an update on my eyebrow. You might notice it's not there anymore. Well, if you can look very clearly, I have a scar there now. My body rejected my eyebrow and come to the terms of it because I had a severe allergic reaction to black hair dye. Uh, three, two, a year ago. Coming up on two. I had a severe allergic reaction to black hair dye to the point where it filled up my whole skull. The outside of my skull was fluid. Like, I, you might not see, like, you can tell that that's, like, really hard to move. No, when I moved it, when my skull, when I was having that, it all, like, this, you can, like, see it now. But it was, like, worse than that. Like, it jiggled a lot. Um... After it got to the point where I had to go to the ER, they gave me medication for it and everything. And then, um, I woke up the next morning after leaving the ER, after coming back home from the ER, like around three, one o'clock in the morning, went to bed, woke up the next day and my whole eye was swollen shut to the point where I couldn't see out of it. I had to call into work. I, it was bad. And I, my body rejected it, and it's still, don't know if I can do tattoos. Don't know. So, um, I have insurance. I'm just gonna see, figure out what doctors I, uh, have to go through to see. Because I need to get the test done if I'm allergic to the chemicals inside of the hair dye. Or is it the pigment of the dye that I... Am I allergic to? And I hopefully, hopefully I'm not allergic to the pigment because if it's the pigment, I'm screwed. I have to wait for like seven years because the body changes every seven years. I mean, I was dyeing my hair for s when I was back in uh, when I was in sixth grade. God, it's been it's been a long time. But other than that, it's been like really not that bad. It's just it got I now have a scar right there, so. Hey, another scar to add to my scars. Hey! Um, other than that, I do want to tell you guys a funny story. So, yesterday, not yesterday, a couple days ago, a week ago, I had, um, it was my, no, actually, it was Tuesday. I had, uh, was playing around with one of my roommates, and I had lost my footing in the bathroom, I grabbed onto the shower curtain, and let's just say, the shower curtain's still up. It's just, I had the soap dish in my bathtub, and it broke. 
when I fell on it. So I also have a scar on my back now. Uh, it's actually been not even a week, and it's a pretty good now scab. It's almost pretty much done. It's going to be a nice little scar. Just a little, like, curved, angular scar. Really weird. But honestly, I don't care. Um, other than that, I just want to let you guys know how I'm doing. I will probably do a video every day now because I'm off. So I have all the time in the world to do videos. You will be sick of me by the time I go back to work on the 24th of April. So I see y'all later. Probably tomorrow. And goodbye. See ya.